Palguni. I'm Julia's mentor. Uh, this is my was my first time mentoring with a magic session, and I was very much nervous teaching Julia. But um, looking at her, um, she she was very much motivated to do something which has a lot of impact. And so we went through a lot of different projects and choose something um, which create a impact to other people. But um, I admire uh, another stuff is I admire her sincerity and uh, her self motivation a lot. Uh, hope she continues to go on to this path and do something great. Yes, hi, I'm Julia Zeitlin, and I'm so lucky to be part of Magic this year, and I'm so excited to talk about my experience. My mentor, Falguni, has been amazing. Um, coming to Magic, I never coded before, and Falguni understands that, and then she patiently teaches me at my own pace. Um, she never lets me say I don't know, and then pushes me to find another way that I can solve that problem. I went from not even knowing what a Python was <laughs> <laughs> to doing real data analysis that I think can actually help people. Um, Falguni works at NVIDIA as a senior software engineer. Um, during MAGIC, I have learned the fundamentals of Python and I have learned to welcome challenges. Um, such challenges that I've faced are, include answering difficult questions and debugging dense code. My first programming language I started with was Python, and in Python I have learned about different statements, functions, and loops, and more. For example, I can find the area of a rectangle and detect whether a number is odd or even. I've learned to use different tools like PyCharm, Trinket, Code Academy, and Code Combat. Now I can use online resources to solve a problem. Also, I just moved to Palo Alto recently, and I kept on hearing everybody talk about machine learning, and I didn't know what it was, and it was driving me crazy, so I did more <laughs> research, and I worked with Balguni, and I learned uh, some of the basics. Um, I learned about features, training data, test data, classifier, and model. An example of machine learning is um, uh, Google Draw. For my midpoint project, I coded a calculator, and the calculator shows some of the fundamental Python skills that I have built during Magic. Um, here's a picture of my code. Um, I considered many different top project ideas, but I settled it on a wildfire data analysis because it was so timely since there have been so many wildfires going on in the US, especially in California. And in addition, there's been a new study that I read that shows that wildfire smoke is bad for the heart as well as the lungs. Um, this information that I've collected can really help people. It can make sure they're careful with the different causes of wildfires. Um, for example, um, children are a definitely a, a cause in the causes of wildfires, and if par parents knew this, they might be more cautious leaving their children around matches. And to develop my skills I needed for data analysis, I took a data set uh, with fruits and I learned different skills. I really analyzed the data and then I started asking different questions and then answering those difficult questions. Um, I used a wildfire data set from Kaggle, which has the number of wildfires that have happened from 1992 to 2015. Where they've happened, when they've happened, the size of the fire, how long these fire, this fire has burned, uh, why these fire happened, and more. Um, yes, I guess we asked many, many questions and then answer them using code. The tools I used were Python and Jupyter Notebook. And the libraries I used were Pandas for data analysis and Matplotlib for plotting graphs. And in the coming slides, you can see that I have plotted different graphs that displays information more clearly because because when I looked first look at this wildfire data set, it was just a sea of numbers and words, and I did not understand it. But then using um, using Python, I displayed this information so they can actually mean something and show some to you. 
And this graph uh, shows the amount of wildfires that happened each year in the U.S. And as you can see, 2006, there were the most wildfires, then in 2000, and then 2011. Here we can see the different months of the year wildfire takes place. The most common month is July, which is not very surprising, but then also March and April. And here, this graph shows the most common day of the year a fire is discovered, which is about the 175th, 180th day of the year. And here, this graph shows the, the amount of wildfires caused by different categories. The three main causes of wildfires are lightning. I was very surprised. I didn't know that lightning could be this dangerous. And then miscellaneous, undefined, and missing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this really showed that we don't know that much, and we, should, we need to do more research and data analysis <coughs> because this information is very helpful. The other categories are arson, campfire, children, debris burning, equipment use, fireworks, power line, railroad, smoking, and structure. This graph shows the average amount of days a fire burns depending on the different category it was caused by. Um, a fire caused by lightning is most likely to go on for three days. Now, this graph shows the different sizes of wildfires. Um, in each category, um, it has the amount of land that it has that this fire had the fires have taken up. But this, in each of the categories, it's saying how many fires are in class B, A, all the way through G. Um, G has the least amount of fires in it, but its fires are the most harmful and they have destructed the most land. But then B has the most. And this graph shows the different causes of wildfires in class A, and the largest cause is lightning. And then the different causes in class B, which is debris burning. And lastly, this graph shows the amount of wildfires that have happened in each state. In California, there have been the most wildfires in these past 10 years, then Georgia and Texas. In the future, I can incorporate other components such as humidity, wind, and temperature, and then predict the chances of fire given a US zip code. With this data and approach, we can start to better predict when and where the next wildfire is likely to happen and the likely causes. Um, I have only, I haven't gone as much as deep into this topic, but I've learned uh, so much and I'm so excited to take this and go deeper into, into other subjects with this. And um, yes, I've learned. I'd like to thank Magic and my incredible mentor,